In the baking heat of Spain, football was vibrant and fun. A last hurrah, it seemed, before the dour, suffocating defences of 1986 and 1990 took over. England, eventually knocked out in the second round group stage, played direct but effective football, as exemplified by their opener against France. From the kickoff, Ray Wilkins slid an angled pass through what we'd now refer to as the right half space, to where Steve Coppel was galloping through against the French left back Maxime Bossy. Coppel checked, and Bossy managed to get a foot in and knock the ball a little further down the pitch for a throw-in. Coppel launched a throw-in that sailed and sailed. There were three England players around the near post, but all appeared well marked by their French counterparts, with a spare French defender lurking for the second ball. As four players, two English and two French, rose and collided, Terry Butcher, the centre back, managed to get a flick on and find Brian Robson, who had stolen into the box unmarked. Robson's deft left-footed scissor kick finish was perfect, even as Jean-Luc Atori, the French keeper, bore down upon him. Route one from start to finish: a long pass, a long throw, a flick on, and a cute shot under pressure, all accomplished within 27 seconds of kickoff. For a goal a little less direct and a little bit more ornate, Brazil served up a peach for their second against the then USSR. It should be noted, though, that Socrates' opener in that game was also a masterpiece. For the second, scored by Adair, Socrates again drove from central midfield, passing to Adair, who had dropped in. Adair then laid it straight off to Zico, who'd run forwards parallel to Socrates into space. Zico chipped a ball with his right, with two Brazilians rushing into the box and the burly Sergio waiting and occupying two defenders. The ball almost reached Sergio, but was cleared only to find Leandro, the overlapping Brazilian right back, poised on the edge of the box. Leandro stepped, dummied, and then nonchalantly stroked a pass back into the top of the box towards Falcao. Falcao stood still and, just lifting his foot ever so slightly, let the ball run through his legs to the onrushing Adair, who flicked it up with his left instep and then lashed an unstoppable volley to the left of Rinat Desayev. Desayev, the Russian keeper, was regarded as one of the world's best. He didn't move. Two goals, two styles, both beautiful in their way. 1982 was a fine World Cup.